In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic named range in Google Sheets. So the first thing that I want to do if I'm creating a dynamic named range is I want to create a formula that's going to um, basically count how many rows of data that I have. So I'm going to create a dynamic named range for column D here. So the first formula I'm going to use is this. It's going to be a count, and it's going to start at D2 since that is where my data starts. I'm going to leave it kind of open-ended. I'm going to go all the way up to D1000 just in case I have new data. And then I'm going to add a plus 1 onto that um, just because my data starts at D2. So I'm adding a plus 1. So I'm going to uh, um, do this formula somewhere in my file. I'm just going to use F2. So count and you can see 9 um, because right now my data goes up to D9 um, which is what this formula does. You can also use this with count if. Um, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. Next what I want to do is I want to create a um, a reference that's going to reference how much data I have. So that is this formula. Um, let me just do this up in G2. So what this formula does is it's going to take um, sheet 1, D2, 2, D, um, and add F2 onto it. So F2 you can see here is 9 and then it's going to go D2 to D9. So it's adding D and F2. Right now F2 is 9. Um, you can see if I add data here, um, F2 changes to 10. This formula changes to 10. So then it comes time to actually create the dynamic named range. Um, so to create a range, what you want to do is go into the top menu here, data, named range. So add range. I'm going to name my range um, total sales because I'm using the total sales column over here. And then the location of this named range, you want to do um, this reference formula you have. So mine is in G2. So done. So that's my named range. And then what you can do is you can start um, using formulas with your named range. So if I want to sum up total sales um, using my named range, I'm going to do sum, and then I'm going to use the indirect formula um, to reference my named range here. And then I'm going to do total sales. So that's going to give me 40, but then you can see when I add data, it automatically updates. Um, so that is just the power of creating dynamic named ranges. Um, there's a few ways to do it. This is just one, but you can see here, if I set it up right, it can be really useful because uh, my data is automatically updating and all my formulas will automatically update as I add new data in. Um, if you're still wondering how to do this, I'm going to place a link to the blog post where I go over this in the description of this video, so make sure to read that if you're still confused. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.